Meantime, the much anticipated order to release body camera video to the family of Andrew Brown Jr. has been officially filed. Brown was shot and killed by a Pasquotank deputy a little more than two weeks ago in Elizabeth City. The family had seen just 20 seconds of video. The public has seen nothing, and protests have continued. Now we know there's a lot more to watch, but the question remains when that will happen. Ten on your side, Jason Marks broke this story the day it happened and continues our coverage tonight. Well, the thought was that Andrew Brown's family would see that body camera video by tomorrow. That would be 10 days from when the judge made that decision in court. But the sheriff's office was waiting for the judge to actually file the order, which happened late last night, so the family will have to wait longer. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up. Show, show and tell the truth. For more than two weeks, Andrew Brown's family has been waiting to see what's on body camera video from the morning Brown was shot and killed by Pasquotank County deputies. We want to know exactly what happened to my nephew. Family thought when a judge rolled nine days ago, they'd get to see everything that was on five videos. But that won't be the case. Showing snip of this video and snip of that video, it's really not being transparency at all. According to the order the judge just filed, the five videos are a combined two hours. To the family's surprise, they'll only get to see about 15 minutes of that time. Evidently, my nephew did something right. The sheriff did something wrong because you're trying to protect them. Why? Our family needs to see the whole video. The portions the family will be allowed to see won't include any shots of Brown's body and will have the faces of the deputies involved blurred. It says that you had something. Basically, if it's racial remarks or something that follows a cover up, I mean, like, what is going on? In the days after Brown's death, the sheriff's office allowed his son to watch 20 seconds from one body camera video. 20 seconds is not enough. We want to see the whole video. No charges have been filed against the three deputies at the center of the investigation. For now, the family continues to search for answers. We want to know, we need to know, we deserve to know what happened to him. Stop trying to hide something. Well, we're told the sheriff's office is right now getting those videos ready for the family to see, and they could be able to view them by early next week. That's the latest here in Pasquotank County. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And a